So it's currently snowing. Um, we're off to Egypt tomorrow, so it's going to be a bit of a start change in the, the weather and the temperature. Um, just packing up everything today before we head off to the Second Nations Cup. So yeah, really excited to get going. Really exciting for some sun and some warmth. And uh, yeah, bring you along with me. snowing <laughs> we're off to egypt today i'm talking quietly because my sister's asleep next door um so hopefully you can hear me we're driving down to london so we're gonna be all wrapped up and then go in and enjoy a little bit of sunshine hopefully so oh. <laughs> really excited to get going i think this will be the last nation's cup for me um and then get back into a bit of training um which will be quite nice considering everything's been a little bit compromised for me with rehab and everything um so yeah we all meet in the track and then we're going on a big coach so can't be late um yeah i mean it's another big travel day we're leaving at 8 45 um but I don't think our flights until like six, so and then I don't think we get there until like one o'clock Egypt time. Just another long, another long travel day, but it's not like we're not used to it by now. Uh, and it's actually nice to be travelling around racing again, like it's kind of almost taken until now since COVID to like get venturing properly again. Like last year we had a lot of races, but they're all in Europe and a lot of them in the UK, so it's nice to, uh, yeah, get out and get going again.
Cairo 3 a.m. yesterday and then um, didn't get into bed until 5, turned into something ridiculous like a 20 hour travel day for a four and a half hour flight as we drove down uh, from Manchester to London. It wasn't horrendous but a lot longer than kind of expected. Um, but it's fine. <laughs> and again today to do a session. Um, it's nice and warm out here, sunny but not like humid like uh, Jakarta. So yeah, looking forward to getting stuck in. We have a little bit less time out here before we race. Um, so getting you to the track is like priority and then I think we've got gym and pre-race day tomorrow. So I think that'll be more of a tell of like how we're going and how to get things together, but yeah. <laughs> together and realized I never actually signed up the race in. Um, so we ended up with fourth in the team sprint. It started off really well. We qualified quickest. 
um and that was actually the quickest ride of all the teams in the day um and then as the day went on i don't know if we were just unlucky with the wind and just didn't quite get things as right as we did in the first one but we ended up in fourth in the last one missing out by two thousandths of a second or something so it was a bit frustrating and we we're all a bit disappointed but we had a really good performance and it's a bit different when the track's not got any walls on there's a lot more variables and for, for instance there was only one team on the track at a time uh, for fairness and things like that so we did what we could and we executed really well so that was a big goal going in just to make sure we execute well um obviously we're disappointed we didn't come away with a medal and didn't do a little bit better but we know there's a lot more in there so not too worried about that um and still we had a good performance in the day so we're not coming away with nothing and we obviously learned a bit along the way as well and then sprint day was next i mean it's always a full-on schedule um and i was feeling a bit i had very tired legs in the morning it's been a, a long few weeks basically with all the racing and stuff but qualified fourth um at the same time as tacky but she had a quicker second hundred so i was fourth and she was third um and i raced really well throughout the day which i'm really proud of um still faded towards the end but me and emma got into the gold final i think i think it's the first gb12 um in the sprint i can't confirm that or anything but it's really exciting and yeah british women's sprinting is on the up uh, emma put me to the line uh in the final but so much like potential and stuff coming through and we're really excited because we're knackered <laughs> and uh yeah to come away with first and second is pretty pretty cool and then i raced a little bit like a wally on kieran day uh in the quarterfinals so didn't quite make the semi-final me and emma were both joint 13th um there's just a bit of work to do there it's all in there but um i think a bit of tiredness sunk in and yeah that was that so overall pretty successful um for us and uh coming away with lots learnt again and yeah really proud of this last little bit of time it's been obviously quite difficult i didn't think that i would ever be at this position when i started rehab um four months ago now three months ago so yeah really proud of myself and uh it's really exciting because now we put our heads down and get the the rest of the hard work done see where we uh, pull up later on in the year. We weren't flying until late in the afternoon on Saturday, so we got to go see the pyramids in the morning, which was really exciting. So here's some clips of that. Yeah, yeah, just pulling around.